do this to defeat the narcissist. The narcissist will intentionally do wrong to you. They will deliberately deceive and mistreat you. And many times they will win. They will get their desired outcome or result. Which can be humiliating for you. It can make you very angry. It can make you want to get revenge. It can make you want to defeat the narcissist. And in these situations, there's really one best way to win. You can defeat the narcissist by living well. The narcissist will lie to you. They will trick you. And it will make you want to get revenge on them. You may not feel like trying to live well. You may just want to harm them directly. But instead of doing that, you just need to relax and think about living well. When the narcissist screws you over, naturally you will be angry. Anyone would be. And you may fantasize about getting revenge. Because it bothers you, it makes you angry or upset. But it's not really because you feel like they defeated you. It's more because they defeated you by breaking the rules. What they did was unfair, and that is why you want revenge. If everything was fair, and they complied with certain rules, you would be able to accept it. You would be able to move on with your life. But because they broke the rules in order to beat you, that's why you're thinking about revenge. You want to hurt them in the way that they hurt you. You want to make them feel the same pain that you felt. Your mind is focused on the narcissist. This person who screwed you over. Rather than thinking about yourself, you're putting all of your attention on the narcissist. Rather than thinking about your own situation. You're not thinking about your own goals. You're not thinking about what makes you happy. The more you think about the narcissist, the more detached you become from yourself. Because you're giving them room to live rent free in your head. You're constantly thinking about someone who screwed you over and you're achieving nothing. It's not benefiting you in any way. You're just wasting your own life. Now you're just screwing yourself over. Because the more time you spend thinking about the enemy, the less time you spend thinking about yourself, the less time you spend thinking about your own life. And even if you spend all of your time creating these plots and schemes to get revenge, it's not going to come into fruition. It's not going to work. Because things change. It's not going to affect them in the way that you think. 
It might hurt them for the first few days. But after a certain amount of time, it's not going to have the same effect. They're going to move on into something else. It's going to lose its meaning. I'm not saying that it's wrong to get revenge. Within certain limitations, revenge is okay. But it's just not practical. It serves no purpose. It's not going to help you. You're just going to waste your own time and energy, which you could have invested into your own life, into your family and your own future. But instead you'll waste it on someone who shouldn't have any real importance in your life, but you're making them important. When they've already demonstrated to you that they shouldn't hold any significance to you, so instead of doing that, make your own life a priority. Focus on making your life better. Because that is the best revenge. That's the best way to defeat the narcissist. People make all of these plots and schemes to get revenge, it always backfires. It always ends up blowing up in their face. When people are hell bent on revenge, it never makes them happy. It brings them nothing but misery and pain. Because they never get the result that they want. They can never fulfill their insatiable desires. They end up ruining their own lives. Do not let thoughts of revenge dominate your life. You won't achieve anything from doing that. There's nothing to be achieved. While you're busy trying to get revenge, they're just going to be living their lives and having a good time. While all you're doing is observing their happiness and joy, when really, you want it to be the other way around. You want to be the one who is living your life and having a good time, while they're watching you. And to make it that way, you need to stop trying to get revenge and just focus on your own life. Focus on living well. You don't need to worry about getting revenge. I don't know if it's God, karma or the law of cause and effect. But I've seen it happen again and again. Whatever you put out is what you get back. Whatever someone does to you, it always comes back to them. You don't have to do anything. But even if it seems as though they're riding an offer to the sunset, what purpose does it serve to waste your life trying to affect them? There must be a greater purpose to your life than create these plots and schemes to get revenge on them. So focus on finding your true purpose. Your future self will thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, 
my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.